computer. All right, we're all here. We're recording. It's March the 4th already. It's springtime. And this is when we can Women Entrepreneurs Call. And thanks all for being on. And yeah, lovely to see you all and hear you all. And I love this um, 45 minutes to be participatory. And I always have things prepared for you as well. So I'd, I'd like to start with two areas and then, and then really open it up for discussion. If you're on a noisy phone or in a noisy place, please put yourself on mute. And then if you want to speak, of course, just unmute. But I hear somebody with some background noise and that can be a little challenging um, for the rest of us, especially when we're recording and you wanna hear it later. So fantastic, but welcome and welcome to early springtime. And the first thing I want to touch on is this question of protection from 5G, because somebody had asked that question. And I think you probably saw my response and please respond yourselves into our um, Facebook group. But basically what I would say is, I never say anything will protect you, that Nikon's technologies will protect you from frequencies, because we can't stop frequencies you know, moving through the body and people are getting concerned more and more about 5G. And that's a really good thing because people are waking up. And if they're waking up to the fact that 5G could be harmful to the body, which of course is, and 4G as well, but 5G you know, exponentially, what they're realizing is that energy matters and that we are electrical. And that so energy medicine and bioenergetics and bioelectrical body and all of that is, is becoming more and more, uh, people are becoming more and more aware of it. And this is a really good thing, even though this is a scary thing that's happening with 5G. So I just want to say, I think we're at a very opportune moment with Niken. Um, and I don't think we need to scare people more. People are already pretty frightened with the coronavirus, which, you know, there's many opinions about that, whether it's, you know, I'm not even going to go into it, but there's a lot of different opinions and I suggest you forage for that, for those. And some of them I'll put on Facebook to Quantum Leap International, my, my, my business page, my healing and health and Nikon page. But I would say I'm always willing to talk about, and it's more important to talk about, the fact that you can empower your energy system. So you can't protect or block from these other things, but you can empower the energetic auric system, the electrical system of the body, so that it can withstand a lot more onslaught. Now, do I think that it's good to have 5G and that kind of onslaught? No, absolutely not. I, I absolutely don't. I'm completely against it because I've done a lot of reading. And so um, I think it was uh, maybe Lucy that had asked me the other day about what books, you know, talk about this connection. And I'm just going to just put up a couple of books. I was going to take photos and put them on our Facebook page and maybe I will get around to that. But first off, you got to know the issue of EMF problems if you're looking at this EMF issue. So here's one book called the EMF book. And that's going to be Mark Pinsky's book. Had this book for many years. Here's another one, Radiation Nation. It's very important. And this is really delineating the problem. And this book, which is excellently done, Zapped. And I actually met this woman in an airport. And we had a very interesting conversation, the woman who wrote this book. And Louise Gittleman zapped. So these three are really on the problem. And then we have a lot of books on solutions. And Lucy, you'd ask me what, you know, what talks about this in terms of our technologies. And every book I looked into talked about the power of magnetism and the body and, and how it affects us in a great way. So The Body Electric is a very important book. This book was by Robert. Becker and MD, and this was the first one he wrote. Now he's passed away now, but the second book he wrote, Cross Currents, says the perils of electropollution, the promise of electromedicine. This book is the book that got my attention, maybe more than any other book. Uh, there was another one, I'm thinking of, not thinking of the name of it right now that also did, but this one is very important to read. Uh, then Discovery of Magnetic Health is a wonderful book. Um, to look into what magnetics does for us. Now, a lot of times we talk about getting rid of issues or stress or um, agonies, we could say, and that's all fantastic. 
Um, in fact, Hattie Jane just talked about that, how it's helped her with agony. So it's not that we never go to that arena, but that is so not the big picture of what our technologies do for humanity and why it's so, so important right now. I think it's truly 26 years I've been doing this and I think our technologies are the most important thing I've ever discovered in terms of keeping our health really vibrant along with an you know, organic foods diet, hopefully whole, whole you know, like plant-based and whole foods diet uh, is, is my belief around that. And also, um, of course, exercise and healthy relationships. So, I mean, of course we need to exercise, the body has to move. Healthy relationships are very critical to all of us for our well-being. healthy mindset also. However, our technologies are unprecedented in terms of the power that they have to keep us vibrant. I had a little issue a year ago when I went for an exam and um, the doctor said, you know, annual, and she said, I had something I'm not so sure, you know, in your right breast. And I think, and you know, I want to go and have you get, get tests. And I thought, mm, no, I don't think so. I think I'll use a power chip and immunity. And I just beefed up my immunity every day and I use that power chip in my bra every day. And I went back to see her um, for my annual again, and she was like, hmm, um, that's gone. And I was like, well, yes, I used uh, uh, this and I, I used that, and uh, she didn't really want to hear about that, right? So it's fascinating how they, you know, even the doctors, they don't really want to hear when things work. And we, we know this, but we do our own, we empower ourselves, you know? Last night, I went for a healing session with the woman who trained me in therapeutic touch and shamanic healing. And she said at the end, how come you don't have all these attachments, negative attachments, dark attachments that pretty much everybody else has? She says, it's because you really take care of your energy field, isn't it? And I said, yes, I do. I do. I use Nikens Technologies every single day, every single night, 24 seven, and so should everybody else in my opinion. But I never want to scare people with a scare tactic. So I want to inspire them. And I think that's where we're at with inspiring people to use these kind of technologies to, to prevent things. We've always talked about that and to empower the energy system. So, so that was interesting. And then, and then the other day, two weeks ago, I was at the Conscious Life Expo in Los Angeles uh, with Gaia. And I started noticing people talking about using different things to empower themselves in the face of radiation and chemicals and, and so on and so forth. And of course, we have our air system with what's going on right now um, with airborne issues, shall we say. So we, we have a lot to talk about. But the reason I'm bringing it up is let's not scare people. Let's inspire them to empower their own energy system. And that is what I've always believed and that is what I've always taught for 26 years. So I don't usually go into this will do this and that will do that. I'm like, no, you need it all basically because it's all going to keep you vibrant and healthy and strong. So um, here's another one, magnet therapy. And, and you know, all these books, Lucy, just for your benefit, I looked in all of them uh, to find, you know, what did they talk about radiation? And yes, you know, absolutely. That's in them. Uh, they're in there. I just, it was too much for me to say, to try to, I thought, shall I, shall I take pictures of each page? And I was like, it's going to be crazy. So these are books one needs to have and look at and read and have for reference. Uh, Magnetism and its effects on the living system. Albert Roy Davis. Um, here's the PEMF book, the famous, The Fifth Element of Health, which is pulsed electromagnetic fields. Uh, it has some really phenomenal um, research. Bryant Myers. Uh, energy medicine and ther in therapeutics and human performance. This is always an area I've been interested in because of ballet. It's even a picture of ballet dancers. In terms of athletic performance, why, why do all uh, in Russia and the Ukraine, all the gymnasts use magnetic technology, right? Because of balance and power and strength, uh, empowering the energy system. Empowering the energy system. That's really what we have to just talk about. The pain relief breakthrough. All right, so we don't use the P word, the power of magnets, we can use the P word for power, power of magnets, we don't use the other word, and we know why. The Book of Magnet Healing, this one, Roger Coghill. These are all different books I've bought over the years, studied, researched, I go back into when I need to. Here's Vibrational Medicine, 
This is just interesting on a lot of different arenas. So the great news is people are becoming aware because of 5G that actually energy affects us and affects us biologically on every level. And that's why it's so great that we can teach about this without frightening them. So that was a big thing I wanted to touch on, um, to just say, yes, there's lots out there. You have to forage for it, but um, there's more now than ever was. And it's an exciting time for us, an exciting time on all levels, an exciting time to help empower humanity when people are just being freaked out by everything they're watching on the news and so forth about, about health. We're all gonna get sick sometimes. We're all, we're all gonna die and go on, I believe, but um, we can assist people. And then that's the focus is to be a blessing, to be a blessing in others' lives. And as a result of that, your business will grow. It, it cannot not grow. It, 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 it must grow because what we have is so important for our world. So that's what I'm going to shift over a little bit and then I'm going to totally open us up um, for, for chatting. But I wanted to talk about this little thing and I posted it and please post into our um, Facebook group um, or onto the WhatsApp, especially Facebook group, because that's a great place for people to go and, and look at things, you know. Um, but I posted something from Lee Harris. Lee Harris is, a, is a, an Englishman. Um, I like his work. He's very intuitive. And he does a monthly readout every month, an update, what he feels that the, you know, he's been guided to say. So he's, he's a very switched on man. And I, I've always followed him and liked him. He lived in Boulder for a while. And he started doing more with um, creatives and entrepreneurs and starting doing um, classes with them. I haven't worked with him personally. I've worked with Brendan Bouchard. And of course, we've all worked with Bob Proctor and many others, Bill Gove, many other people that we've um, trained with over the years. But um, I, I, just, I just like what he's doing. And he talks a lot about working with the creatives, which I, you know, really... Um, uh, resonate with being one of those creative forerunners and being um, an early adopter, which you, you all are early adopters. And early adopters, I mean, it's great and it's difficult because people are like, what are you talking about? I don't know about this. I don't agree. And if, I, if it really worked, we'd know about it. We'd all know about it. And so being an early adopter definitely has its challenges. However, what else is there to do? If you're, if you're smart and you're looking and you're delving in, especially in the arena of health, is what we're talking about primarily, which means everything. Consciousness is included, of course, in that very much so. Um, you can't not get excited by what you discover uh, about what we have. And, and, the, and the difficult part is, of course, relaying that to others in a way where they can hear it. And the main thing and what I find is that, honestly, it's the fact that when I find the right people, it's because they're ready they can hear it. They're also really smart. They also think out of the box and they naturally go tell me more. You know, they, they, they're, not, they're not balking. They're not so entrained by Western medicine to think a certain way. And Western medicine, and I'm not against uh, allopathic medicine, but what's called, you know, modern medicine is, is really very, very um, recent. The, the ideology is very recent. The way of looking at science and the human body is very recent. So I like to look, look back further. Like, well, well, what did Hippocrates uh, teach? You know, and that's going back a long way. But anyway, my point being is that when people, you know, become a consultant or when people, you know, buy a sleep system without a lot of hoo-ha, it's because they're really thinking for themselves. And I love that. And they're the kind of people I want to work with. They're, they're really thinking for themselves and they're going in where to go, what's the inner truth versus what I'm being told uh, through even YouTube, which is now clamping down so much. I'm sure you've noticed the um, amount of censorship is very disturbing uh, right now. A lot of people are losing their whole channels that they built and made their living off of because they're talking about things that suddenly now um, the powers that be because of advertising don't want us to know about. And, and I, even my own Facebook page has been flagged, you know, because, you know, I talk about anti-vaccines and things like that. And so then it gets flagged. And then the CDC notification comes up, you know, if you're unsure or, you know, disclaimer or whatever, then go to the CDC to find out the truth. And 
my personal opinion is that's absolutely where you will not find the truth. So anyway, um, let's go back to Lee Harris. I want to chat with him for a little bit and then talk about this with you and listen to what you feel about this. In the one I posted on the Facebook group, he talks about entrepreneurs needing three vital uh, abilities or um, skill sets. And it was very simple, but very profound. The first was visionary. Um, if you're going to be an entrepreneur in anything, you will have to develop your visionary abilities. Hopefully you have them at the get-go. And most Nikan consultants are visionaries. They just are. They, I probably wouldn't be Nikan consultants if they weren't. So visionaries is very important. And that's a lot of what we were just speaking about, you know, seeing outside, you know, thinking outside the box, not taking the status quo, not accepting what's being force fed, um, but really thinking for yourself and delving and studying and researching and understanding like, hey, there's a lot more to, to this picture of how to stay vibrant and healthy and thrive than um, maybe we're being told. And why is that? Well, a lot of other reasons and that's a rabbit hole. The second one is architect. Once you have your vision, that download of like, oh, I'm going to do this thing and I'm going to change the world with Niken um, or whatever the, you know, you're doing as an entrepreneur, that's a wonderful vision. And then you have to architect it. So that's where we talk about drawing out your group. Um, yes, you don't know the names yet, but who, you know, what does it need to look like? Um, we've often talked about the tap routing. You know, you need at least three strong tap roots to build a viable, strong business. Who are the people that are gonna help you build those tap roots? And you're gonna work down, 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 down many levels to bolster and empower the whole leg. So three tap roots, especially one big one is usually how it ends up being. Most top consultants have one mega leg, we call it leg, right? One mega tap root and, and, and two other strong ones. So you have to build it out. You have to draw it out. You've got to see it visually, take it out of your head, put it on paper. And so we all recommend doing that and, and, and updating that every month. Um, you know, what, what, what do I need to, to grow this? And, and really be seeing the architecture, that blueprint. And then the third piece is being the builder being the builder and that's actually doing the work. Yes, there's work on the visionary level. Yes, meditate every day and get clear on your vision. Yes, there's work on the architectural level for sure and that, it, and that changes a little bit, but not that much because the names will change, the people may change, but the actual architecture of what you need to build a powerful network marketing business with Niken, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be pretty much the same for all of us. Um, and just a moment on network marketing, you know, everybody's doing referral marketing now. You must realize this, right? Affiliate marketing is everywhere. So if somebody complains to you about network marketing, you should say everybody's doing affiliate marketing. It's just that we pay out more because we pay up to six levels deep and the computer will delve down to find your active levels. So um, it's just more generous. Network marketing is just more generous than any other affiliate program that will pay you out on one level basically. So just know everybody's doing it and it's normal. So don't let that one get you uh, anymore. But then this builder piece is really where the rubber hits the road. It's where the work is done. It's the connecting with people. It's really letting them know what we have. It's doing whatever you do that makes that work. I mean, I love lending products to people. It's always worked for me. It may not work for you. Is it the only way? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Most of the people I see now, because, you know, as you know, I work with Gaia and I'm building their member referral program uh, out. That's, that's my work there, which is super fun because that's what I love. Um, and so what I notice is that where people are really referring tons and tons of people who are becoming new members um, is through Facebook groups. It is by far the most a successful place that they're doing it. And, and given they don't have physical products like we have, right? You, you, it's, it's, a, it's a streaming video um, platform. But, you know, it's amazing what happens when they belong to all these groups and then they put things in. So I'm thinking, well, if that works for people with Gaia, why is it not, not going to work for Nikan? It should work for us just the same other than we have physical technologies, but we have so many testimonials that we can pr prove to people that the proof is in the pudding and how great we all feel. Um, I mean, I, I, it's so funny. I have people tell me all the time, like, 
you know, you, you're my inspiration. You know, I hope when I get to this age, uh, you know, my 60s, I, I will be like you. And I'm like, well, that's really sweet of you. And, but, you know, truly you, you can do this yourself. It just happens to be that I've been in, been eating organic uh, whole food diet since I was 23 years old. And I've been using Nikkei technology since, uh, since I was whatever, 38 years old. So yay. And, and then there are other things in there too. So this build apart is, um, this is super important, right? Nothing will happen if we just have a vision and we just architect, you know, what it's supposed to look like. And then we don't actually do the work. So that's where the work is. That's a daily work of just, you know, listening to people, connecting with people, uh, not frightening them, um, but really um, caring for them, loving them, <clears throat> inspiring them and empowering them to take care of their health and the health of their, their families. <clears throat> and then ultimately, if they want to do the business, it's because they want to help the world. I mean, that's really it, right? And of course, they want to make a great income. So what Lee Harris said about, about this visionary architect and builder that was so interesting, I want you to listen to him say it, is he said, most of us are usually good at two of them and we're not usually good at all three. And so what we need to do is figure out which two we're good at and which one we're not as good at and we need to like learn about that and get better get better at that and of course he said sometimes you actually you know need other other people's help and of course in Nikan we talk about that a lot like um three-way phone calls are one of the greatest ways to to leverage other people's help it, it's just fabulous because perhaps there's an area you're not as good in but you know somebody who's really good in that area and you can ask for their help either for coaching you know we all coach for basically for free because Nikan pays us on the growth of our business. So we coach for free, that's pretty amazing. I don't know anywhere else in the world you can get life coaching for free <laughs> um, from people and, and learn about the areas that you might not be as strong in. And so this goes for all of us, right? We're all good at one or two of these three and, and we're probably not very good at the third. So that's what I wanted to open it up to listen to you like, what do you think if you take each one visionary on a scale of one to 10, that's just easy to do one to 10. Are you a three or are you an eight? And ultimately, how could you get to a 10? You know, the same with architect. Are you a good architect? Is it easy for you to understand what has to happen? Um, you know, for you to build this business and really make a difference in the world? Or is it just not an area that you kind of grasp? In which case, ask for help. So on a scale of one to 10, where would you be? A two or a nine or a six? And the same with builder, this building, this, this, this is, you know, this is the sort of concretized, practical, every day I'm gonna reach out to five people and I'm gonna make, a, make sure I make a, a, an appointment with at least three of them. And, and, you know, my intention is to enroll at least one of them and have, you know, uh, the other two uh, be retail customers, something like that. You know, do you have that, uh, do you have that groundedness to do the work? Because as we know, if this, if this business can work for some people, it can work for everybody. Uh, there's nothing that other people do that you can't do at all. It just might be that they're more developed in, in those two or even in all three that they've realized that they were weak in one and they're, they're going to strengthen that. So for builder, would you be a, a one, a four? Would you be a seven? Would you be a 10? You know, where do you fit on, the, on, that, on that builder part? And, and then let's just open this up and uh, let's hear from, from you guys. What, what do you feel? And, and then just think about this. Like if you're great at the architect and the builder, but you're not so good at visionary, who would you go to for vision? So start thinking about that. Who can I go to to help me develop my vision? Because it's just not as strong. Or maybe you're an amazing visionary and you see this clear as a bell. You see th these technologies need to be, everyone needs them. Everyone needs a wellness home. I see it, I know it, I know I'm supposed to be a part of that growth in the world and helping our world. But you know, the architect part is not strong. Who would you go to to help you? with the architect part. You know who pops into my mind is Ruth Williams. 
right off the bat. She's a fabulous architect. She knows exactly how to create an architecture for this business. Or same for the builder. If you're just not good at the practical today, I'm going to do this or I'm going to map out my week uh, or I'm going to map out the year and work backwards through the months and then go to the, you know, daily activity and I'm going to do the activity, but I'm not getting success or, you know, what's happening. Who do I know who's a really good builder? And I'll go to them. And, you know, who pops into my mind is Dave Johnson. I mean, he's a great builder. In fact, he just joined uh, Team Tai Chi. I was so excited uh, because, because nobody's reached that Team Tai Chi um, other than myself. And so I was like, yay, I've, I have a playmate. I have somebody else who's, who's reached that. So um, he's somebody that comes to mind, you know, around being a really good builder. Um, so let's hear from you. Just pop on in, um, stay on mute until you're ready to speak. But uh, it's open, we're recording. Um, so who would like to speak to, to this issue? And just tell us how you see it for yourself. It's Lorraine here. Yes, Lorraine. Uh, I've been with Mecan for almost 20 years, and <clears throat> I guess I'm the product of the products. I basically am a, a consumer of the products, but uh, all along the way I've been planting seeds, and I feel I'm a, I'm a, a seed planter at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, getting attention to what I'm doing, However, it's to, uh, I'm not fishing, getting the fish on the hook. <laughs> they, they look at the product and I send them, I keep them on the, uh, on the loop, but to really finalize the division of our, our, to make a difference about a wellness home and get involved, it uh, uh, seems to be just there. So I, I just see myself as a seed planter and a, a fisherman that's not really bringing in the fish. <laughs> okay. That, that's a great way to say it. And I think seed planting is extremely appropriate. Uh, I think we do sow a lot of seeds and then we see which ones sprout, right? And we don't have a lot of control over that um, or who is going to sprout, but we can help the process. Um, but let's, um, let's see. I want you just to consider, think about all the people you know in Nikan. Everyone. And I don't care if they're a silver consultant or a royal diamond. It doesn't matter. Who's, who could really help you to get better results? Um, the fishing analogy is interesting. It's never one I've related to just because I don't really want to reel in dead fish. I want live people. But I'm just saying, it's just not my analogy, but seed planting is. Yeah. You know, and I think, I think women are natural nurturers and they, take, they tend to the earth. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Tend to the earth, tend to our plants. Um, you can see my plants are going bonkers back here. I've got plants everywhere around this house. And so I think we are very much nurturers and seed planters. So I love that analogy, but we do need to make sure we encourage that little seedling through giving it the right nutrients that it needs to go forward. So, so that's well, it. I, I think that with, with the Zoom calls like this and with the connection, I've really learned to do, be part of this. And I think it's the teamwork that's inspiring me. I am right presently organizing an event in Saskatchewan and I've been on the phone with everybody that I know in my friend circle there uh, to tell them about it. So I am an organizer and I you know, like to get the word out. So uh, it's, uh, it's exciting to work with so many talented people. And I'm making lists of phone numbers who I can possibly make three-way calls with you know, on the spot. <laughs> so I'm, I am very proactive. So I'm, uh, I'm out there. I would put onto the in, uh, onto our um, group, you know, our women's sneaking group. I mean, uh, you can always ask who's usually who's can be available on, on the spot, you know, um, for three way calls and just network within the community first, so that you have the resources you need for when you need them, in terms of the people. Um, that's great. Thank you, Lorraine. Let's hear from somebody else. Who else would um, talk about what they're good at, maybe what they need help with? Don't be shy. I know you're all there. Hi, Julie. This is Renee. Hi, Renee. Yes. One thing that I found most helpful for me lately in the building process is I got an accountability partner. 
and we talk on um, usually five out of seven nights and we set up goals each day for us to achieve and um, just very, very encouraging for each other. And I would definitely say that's a good thing to do is get an accountability partner. Great, great idea, Renee. And that would be really on the builder side. So what that's yes. supporting you with is building, the daily build. Um, and, and probably because you're talking that often, you probably talk about the architecture of it too. And certainly I hope your vision, because they're do. all critical, all those yes. parts. Yes, we do, definitely. Yes. Excellent. Well, that's a great idea. An accountability partner. So that's fantastic. Um, who else would love to speak about this? Because I think, well, you know, Julie, hi, this is Barbara. You know, you talk about the architecture part and I've not been very good at that. But if you look at the incentives that Nikon has, it's the stepping stones to build you to that. So it was like, oh, okay. So let's all shoot for Club Kiai because that would then lead to the other things. And so um, prior to that were the tickets and the hotel and the, you know, events in New York. And so, you know, they put the architecture kind of pathway out there for us. Yes. I think you say that, you know, most well, because you always like, to, why not win it? You know, why not get the tickets? Why not do it? Right. Yeah. And so um, I think that's great. That's what's helped me there with architecture. Um, and then all the shifting, you know, the visionary for me, you know, we are it, we are that. And so, um, but I think the building part, I don't know, I, I'm weaker in the building part, but I do the three ways. I do the different things that um, help me and assist me have other people hear it because I'm not the catalyst for that. So whether it's for you personally, I'm not there, but for your people to have that, that's the three way. That's the beauty of the building and the architecture and stuff. It's that you are the connector, you're the relationship. But if you can get the other people on board to share the, the weaknesses that you aren't, you know, in this, the three way, they can hear it a whole different way. Yeah. They're going to hear it from them rather than, you know, um, so it's, it's the one step out. If that makes sense, it's the one yes. step. It does. It makes a lot of sense. And I think because if they're your contact and your prospect and your new first level, they're going to be hearing from you a lot. And so you can count on that. That relationship is already, you know, becoming stronger and stronger. So the important thing as soon as you can is to, is to really leverage others. So they can hear it from other people in different ways because we don't know, as you're saying, we don't know who's going to suddenly say it in a way that they can hear it loud and clear. And maybe you're doing a brilliant job of it and they are hearing it loud and clear from you, but they're still going to gain so much from, from listening to others mm -hmm. because we all have areas of expertise and we all have areas of, of weakness. And that's okay. And I always feel like it's so important in our business that we don't have to think that we have to be good at all of it all the time. That it's really okay to not be good at some things. It's, it's fine to not be good at some things. It's like, it, it's like I think of my kids, you know, my youngest, she's, she's, she's just become so like independent. And as much as it's wonderful in a way, it's also a little bit sad. It's like, why not let other people support you and help you you know because we really are in this together and when we do it together better results happen so for our business uh, of course if, if you know i think what you say is so true Niken creates the architecture the structure that's that's necessary um to build a wonderful business you know and to have success and so why not go for it you know and sometimes you'll win it and sometimes you won't win it and it's okay there's no shame involved it's just uh go for it why not and so that's true they do provide a lot of architecture however you know i'm also going to say niken is the company 
And the network marketers, when they talk about the architecture, you, you kind of see it in another way. You know, when, you know, when Dave Johnson talks about it, you're like, oh, or Dennis Williams, or you're like, oh, I, I never quite got that. You know, how you have to work below, 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 below people. You don't just work with your first level. You're going down, down, down to de develop strength and power below with the connections with the people and helping them. And that will lift the person you sponsor, you know, and the ones in between. So it is different when you're hearing from those who've built the business. Um, and yet we have the scaffolding, shall we say, with the prizes and with <clears throat> the contests and with the basic structure itself with silver gold platinum diamond the basic structure is an architectural structure so it's, those are great great points um fantastic uh let's see we have about seven minutes it's kind of exciting so let's hear let's hear from somebody else um maybe lucy or ursula yes i just wanted to actually put my hand up <laughs> yeah well <clears throat> it's funny uh, listening to other people and I just realized what woke me up, honestly, is the, the issues that are going in the world. And I realized, um, hold on a minute, I can't stay still. I can't have my hands folded when I've got such an incredible um, uh, arsenal of products. So actually, um, this helped me to realize, okay, what am I good at? And I need to get on videos because I feel very comfortable doing it. And I just realized I don't need to have great makeup. So thank you, because that's been holding me back. And, um, you know, because you hear all of those, so you've got to be presentable, all of that jazz. But actually, it's always the energy that actually comes out and people pick up on that. So I thought, so that I'll just do it anyway. <laughs> you see, I mean, that's so true. Number one, you're just beautiful anyway, and don't worry about that. And number two, when they talk about video now, they, they say authenticity. People just want you to be authentic. They want you to be real, you know? And I mean, I listen to lots of different video on all sorts of things from, you know, astrology to radiation to you name it. And I love it when people are just real and sometimes, you know, they've got a cold and they're sneezing or they're, um, or they're just drinking their cup of tea. I've been studying the Enneagram lately. Um, last night I was listening to a lot and, and the chap is just sitting there and he's just gulping down his tea the whole way and, or coffee or whatever it is. And it just makes me laugh because he's just real, but he's also very informative, right? So, um, and that's something I always do suggest to you all is study your own, um, your own makeup, understand, study things like the Enneagram or astrology, whatever it is for you, so that you understand kind of who you are a little more and what you're really good at and what you're really not good at and when you're in a down spiral, why, and, and it helps you, it just helps you. So I've always been interested in that. But, but Lucy, the main thing is yes, number one, you are great on video because you are you and that's good enough because you're fabulous and you are real and you are joyful and remember, if you remember Power Versus Force, when that book where he talks about creativity and he says you can't create from the lowest vibrations of guilt and shame and anger and all that stuff. You can create from the highest vibrations, which is love, joy, peace, and ultimately enlightenment. And that's where we really create from and co-create from. Mm -hmm. And that's why when you're with other people that are joyful, you pick it up in the best way. You know, you pick it up and you're like, wow, I feel so much better. Why? Because I've been around these joyful people. Same thing will happen if you're around angry people. You'll be like, I don't feel so good. Why? I'm not sure. And, um, you know, it's because you've been around angry people or depressed people or, I mean, you know, you could think of a million, a million, uh, scenarios like that i i'll never forget going into uh gambling in nassau when i w was i don't know 25 years old and everybody was so miserable and i was like they're here to make money they want to make money they're gambling they want to make money but they're so miserable and i can remember um saying to bill you know my husband at the time like i don't like this energy at all and i'm leaving this energy is horrible. And you could say the same about uh, a pub or a bar late at night and everybody's sitting around at the bar and they're all miserable. 
you know, and they're telling their misery stories. Not that we don't have tragedy in our lives, we do, but it's kind of like, do you want to be around that sort of energy, right? And so it's, it's easy to tell. So, I mean, in terms of like even, you know, just regular friendships, I have to tell you, I am really mindful about who I hang out with. Very mindful. It's why I don't watch TV and haven't since 1995, because it doesn't do me any good. It's just frightening. It's scary. It's depressing. It's, oh my gosh, the whole world's, you know, going to part and, the, and all that. And so I don't watch it. Why? Not because I don't want to know a little bit what's going on, but because I want to be really, really wise about what the energy is that I bring in to my field. That means spiritually, that means emotionally, that means mentally, that means physically into my field to fortify my field. And that makes a huge difference. So Lucy, do your videos. I, I want to do a lot more video myself, you know, and I, I have my own story about it. You know, it's like, well, I'm not, I'm not 25 right now, you know, but then I'm like, who cares? Uh, because I'm passionate uh, about helping people in this world and helping our, our environment and everything else. So do it. Just do it. And it'll be beautiful. Julie, I, I did a little tiny video. Like, I think it was under three minutes. Yep. And I didn't put it up to YouTube. I just dragged it over to each of the customers. So every one of them got a little personal note from me and that little video it was on the specials and the air filter and just service and, you know, here, I'm still here, you know, that kind of thing. And then if you can't open the video, this is kind of what I'm sharing. But I, it's amazing what that little thing stimulated out there, you know, the little ripple effect. Three so, minutes or less is, is fabulous if you, if you want to study it. I know it's something I really do want to learn a lot more about, but I, people love short video. Uh, the attention span isn't very long unfortunately if they use Nikon products it would be um because they need that mental you know ability to focus that you know we know magnetism gives us not to mention the consciousness the pineal gland and everything else it does but um yeah i think i think you're absolutely right i think everybody should be doing it and you know put them put them into our group put them into our group so that other people can see you know what you're doing yeah because it's really helpful the whole point of doing these you know, little uh, 45 minutes, we're, we're almost up in time, but, you know, or, or having a group or having a WhatsApp, it, it's not for me. It's not for me to be just telling you what I think you should be doing or what I think we could be doing. It's for all of us to, to contribute together. So please do that. Um, put, put that video up there because, you know, I'd love to see what you do. And it's hard to sometimes follow everybody all the time in other places, like Ursula put this fantastic story about Peru, and I, I think you're there, Ursula, still. Yeah. Wow. I mean, and then you put it and you shared it with us so we could all see it, and I was like, wow, what a story, you know? Um, so, Ursula, for you, visionary architect builder, what do you see? Well, interesting okay. enough, I think, yeah, building is my strength. Yeah. Um, my biggest weakness, it really came home this time, is asking for help from others and trying to do things on your own and you know and i actually and i highly highly recommend it i actually went to salt lake city to the team summit there was probably only about 85 people there there was at least eight team kaizen winners there and everybody it was like a huge family the energy was amazing and Everybody's asking, yeah, can you do this call? Can you come on with this one? Because everybody had their own stories to tell. And we don't, we don't see half the story. That's partly why I posted that one in, on Peru, because it was a game changer for me. I had five days when I was like flat out. If I hadn't had that Nikkei water bowl, I don't think I'd be here. That was the shocker. And I thought, well, and as a result, I've actually sold six bottles in the last week. So now I want, I'm trying to get them to upgrade to the system because yeah. it made people realize it was that simple. Yes. Yes. And it, 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 it shook you. I, I think you saw my comment back to you. is like when people have an experience like that, they become the greatest promoters. Because let's face it, to build a Nikon business, we have to promote. We have to let people know. 
And it makes people such great promoters because they know that they know that they know that they might not be alive if they hadn't had that water bottle or whatever their story was. So you now have an anchoring of inner knowing that no one can ever take away from you and it will propel you, should hopefully propel you to find a way to tell the world through whatever mechanisms, your groups, your videos, your, you know, however we're all doing it. And you will be very successful because how could you not be? Because the universe supports goodness. Yeah. It supports okay. people helping people and helping our environment and helping our world be better. So I'm so glad you're fine and, and having a good time. I know you and I need to connect. I do realize our time is up now. I don't want to keep you longer than I promised you. I love you all. And I really see us moving forward. Think about this visionary architect builder piece um, and go and find the people that you know are good at the ones you're not good at and, and they can help you get better and, and use those three-way phone calls. They are invaluable. That is, it is absolutely the way, you know, I know I built my business was three way calls. And I was like, I'm not it, but other people know a lot of things, you know? So, um, much love to all of you. Thank you for being on. I'm going to, um, I need to get going. So let's talk soon. And, uh, and yeah, just lots of love and many blessings to all of you. Bye everybody. <laughs> Bye everybody. Bye.